It must be Tuesday, nine o'clock, and it is vapor scene. Good evening, everybody. How are we? I hope we're well and we are keeping warm because it is chuffing freezing out there. Certainly is. We have, as usual, a load to get through, and we're going to start this week with part two of the little thing I did with the nicotine testing kit. So remember last week, if you saw, um, we did the test with the 75 milligram juice. This week we're going to start with a test of some 24 milligram that I made, and then we're going to test some 24 milligram shop report. So have a little looky see and see what you think about this. Okay, so if you remember last time, we tested the 75 milligram e-liquid, or the, the base nick, uh, and it came out at around about 74, um, plus or minus. So I've now made up just a 5 mil sample of 24, which I've mixed down using uh, 75 and some VG. Again, I've got 10 milliliters of deionized water, and this time I'm going to put it straight in. I'm using, I'm testing two milliliters this time. Um, the, the website recommends you test two mil at this strength and one mil at strengths of 36 and above. So we're just going to give that a good shake to mix it up with the deionized water, and like I said earlier you can use deionized or distilled. I'm using deionized because this is what most people are going to have readily available and it seems to work given the results of the first test. So that's that mixed in. This time I shall put in seven drops of the blue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven drops of Bromiaithol blue. You get actually loads of that. <laughs> this will stain, by the way. It will stain fingers and it will stain things that are porous. So that's why I've got this on a little plastic tray with some paper down. So that is now mixed and we've got the blue toilet water scenario again. And then we're going to go to our acid. And again, I'm going to start it with three millilitres of the acid and I'm taking it way past three on the syringe as you can see just so I can ensure I have no air bubbles whatsoever and I can get an exact reading. I'm getting a set of bubble out. I've got one right at the bottom of the syringe and it's just working its way up. Right so I've got it worked all, all the way up to the top now. And I'm just taking the syringe down to exactly three very slowly. So we're now at exactly three millilitres. I'm just going to pop that down for a second while I put the top on. Okay, so I'm, I'll do this half a millilitre at a time I think to start off with. So we've gone from three to two and a half. Give it a little shake still blue. Two and a half to two. And give it a shake. Two and a half to one and a half. And again, we can see it changing slowly. Can I go down to one milliliter? Okay, we're getting close now. So I'm going to do this now in point 0.1. So that's point 0.1, point 0.2, point 0.3, point 0.4, Point five. I still think that's quite green. Point six. And there we go. Point six. 
So 2.6 millilitres gives us the colour that we need, which is that lovely yellow colour. And we'll do the calculation again. And this time, when you use two mils of liquid, you multiply by a different number. This time we're going to multiply by 9.735. So we've used 2.6 mils of the acid. So 2.6 multiplied by 9.735. 9.735. And that gives us 25.311. And using 2 mil, there is a margin of error of one between one and two milligrams plus or minus so that again is in the ballpark of 24 milligram so the kit itself is um it's pretty accurate if you take in consideration the plus or minus um so the final test that we will do is i will test a pre-made juice and we'll see what that comes out like so I'll get all set up again, and I'll see you in a few. Okay, we are now into our final test, and we're going to test some 24 milligram bought juice. And at this point in time, I'm not going to tell you whose it is, because I don't think that's fair. So first thing is we're going to add our 10 milliliters of deionized water. Again, you could use distilled. We're going to use two milliliters of said e-liquid. And I'm just going to squeeze that in. And move it around and mix it while I'm doing that. Because it is quite thick, being VG. Give that a good mix round. And you can see, it actually smells really nice. <laughs> I know what's in here. Um, See, it's a nice little colour there. And again, we're going to use seven drops of the blue. So, almost had one then. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven drops of the blue. Give that a good mix round. And because it's already a funny colour, I'm going to add another drop, make it eight. Give it a fighting chance. There we go. So, eight drops. We've got another measured three mils of acid, and I'm going to take it down quickly to um, one and a half mils, because I know it's going to need that. So that's one and a half mils. And you can see we've still got a bluey greeny color. So I'm gonna take it down to one mil. Again, still bluey greeny. And then we'll take it down a milliliter at a time. So that's 2.1. 2.2, mil. 2.3, 2.4, 2.5, 2.5 mils. And we're still a little bit greeny, so I'm going to take it down another milliliter. 2.6. 2.6-bear-in-mind-the-colouring-was-darker-when-we-started-so-2.6-looks-about-right-and-that's-why-you-get-this-white-cup-because-it-allows-you-to-see-the-colour-a-lot-better-and-you-can-see-there-is-that-k
So 2.6 millilitres of acid multiplied by 9.735. 9.735 gives us 25.311. Uh, and I have to tell you that this juice is a 24 milligram juice. Um, so that, with the margin of error of plus or minus 2 to 4 milligrams, again, is in the ballpark. So what can I tell you from that? What can we, what conclusions can we draw from, from that? Um, the kit works. If you want to test your nicotine juice, and I think it's very important if you're using strengths up to 75, like I do, to make sure that what you're starting with is right. And that allows you to get the calculation spot on for when you're mixing down your own mixes. And the second test that we did was a test of 24 milligram that I'd made using the 75. And that came up to be as it should. This particular pre-made juice has come up to be as it should. But I must add some caveats to that. Um, while I do that, I'm just going to put the rest of this acid in the bottom. Certain juices, especially ones with a high acidity, are going to throw the results out. If you don't clean all your instruments, wash them beforehand, and you've got stuff on from the last time, that's going to affect your results. What doesn't appear to affect the results is using deionized water. And that's something that I was concerned about, but seeing as this is in the ballpark, I'm happy with that. So all in all, not a bad test. And uh, I think we shall go back to me in the studio. Ta-ta! Yeah, interesting that. It all worked reasonably well um, using the distilled uh, the deionized water and uh, not the distilled um, and they do recommend on the website you use distilled and you wash all the syringes and the uh, the little tub a couple of times through before you start a test uh, just to make sure you haven't got anything um, on your syringes or in the cup uh, and then obviously you do the same when you're finished the test is it worth doing well there's different ways of looking at it isn't there um, if you're buying a high strength juice like the 75 milligram and you want to be sure that's what you're getting before you start mixing your own then it's probably a good idea if you just want to test shop bought juices um, if you're buying from a reputable um, establishment then theirs is tested um, but you might want to test it yourself as well so it's out there it's about 50 pounds for the kit um, I'm not sure if you can get extra acid I don't think you can um, but I'm sure there are places that you can buy spares and there's just loads of the uh, colour reagent because um, you only need a few drops. But anyway, hope you found that of some interest. Um, we are going to now look at, if I can find my video, there it is. We're going to look at the winner of this week's Show Us Yours. And now it's time for Show Us Yours, sponsored by Flavor Art UK. And this week's winner is Felix Hoffman with a picture of his Precise Plus 18650 mod with an attached Vaporfexion. Well done Felix, we'll contact you and arrange your bottle of juice.
show is yours. Sponsored by Flavor Art UK. Yes, indeed. Well done, Felix. And that was a cracking photo too. Really, really crisp. Um, I have some photos in, some Christmassy ones for next week's show. Um, but if you would like to uh, send us a picture and get yourself a bottle of juice, you know what to do. It's Vaporscene at vaportrails.tv. We're going to go into a little ad break, and when we come back, we've got uh, the third instalment of Juicy Juicy from Andy, and he's going to be telling us about some rather nice Jamaica ginger cake. See you in two. <laughs> And now back to Vapor Scene on Vapor Trails TV. And welcome back. And while those adverts were on, um, I found in my little bag of juices uh, some really nice banana juice that I had made at Vape Fest. Uh, and it's been steeping since then. And my oh my, it's very tasty. Anyway, uh, before we go on to Andy and his juicy juicy um here is the latest marcos vapor trails rant <laughs> well hello it is i marco van basten <laughs> aka marguerite and it is friday morning it's quarter to 11 uh, and i am on the a69 today driving across from washington where I was last night um, and appearing live on the Haze Hour with Mr. David Dorn in place of Keith who was on VT Talk on Wednesday night in place of Jerry Simpson um, and as I was in Washington overnight uh, I arranged a while ago that I could uh, drop in on Dave have some coffee since I had to drive back to my hotel uh, and uh, do the haze out, which was very enjoyable. And I hope if you're watching, uh, you found it as enjoyable as we did uh, giving it to you because uh, we had a, a great time. Uh, such a great time, in fact, that I didn't leave Dave's house till half past two in the morning. <laughs> so, 
I didn't get back to my hotel till about a quarter to three. Um, and then the noise from the extractor fans or whatever the machinery is above room one at the George Washington Hotel kept me awake for ages. In fact, I even recorded the noise and played it back to the duty manager this morning when I complained. Um, did it get me anywhere? No, not really. It must have been the extractor fans. Well, you know, there you go. So, what am I doing? Yes, I am driving back up to <laughs> Scotland again, second week in a row, uh, and from an email that I got this morning before I left my hotel, it appears I'll be back up in Scotland again next week. Uh, God, the miles I do, it's a lot. But there you go, I do like my job. Uh, so I'm still using my spinner, even though I called it a twist yesterday, a bit confused. Um, on Dave's show. But yes, I'm still using my uh, Vision Spinner with the uh, Ego Vivi Nova Mini with my Caramel Latte 24mg juice. Just watching the road as well. I've got to be careful. Um, <coughs> and it's very pleasant. It's uh, going really well, actually. I'm quite surprised that only you know a 900 milliamp battery, uh, sorry, it's a 1300 milliamp battery of this size um, can produce the goods. Uh, and I've not had one of these type of batteries before. Um, I've normally had just a normal 900 milliamp vision batteries. And of course, my lava tubes and my gripper VVs. Uh, and I'm currently building a box mod VV with some bits that I got uh, from Mr. Dibley. He very kindly sent me some bits. I also bought the Mad Vapes kit uh, from Liberty Flights after seeing both Gary and Mr. Jones uh, do their builds. So that will be on tin your tip at some point and video in the process uh, and I said I'd uh, give that to Gary so Gary can show that so I'll have that to play with too what I did like the look of last night on uh, Mr Dolan's show was the MVP uh, I'd seen that before and you would have seen that if you saw the Phil Besido interview because Phil had been sent one so that was back in October obviously things sometimes get out a bit quicker in the States um, and Mr. Basado had been using that uh, and said you can charge your mobile phone from it which was uh, quite interesting so if you've got the cable with you uh, and your phone does run out of juice plug it into your e-sig why not great idea but uh, Cat and Sav looked well pleased, or sounded well pleased, uh, with uh, how it's performing for them. So uh, I will have a little look at one of those, I think, in the future. So I do like my variable voltage. Even though it only goes from 3.3 volts up to 5, um, when I was talking to Dave, I did say that even though you know my lava tubes and the gripper go up to 6 volts, I hardly ever go up there. Um, I don't really go much past 5 anyway. Uh, and obviously you need to work out the, the power you're getting uh, on the resistance that you're using of your coil. So the fact that it only goes up to 5 volts is neither here nor there, really. Um, but I do like the look of it. It looks very neat and tidy. So there you go. That's another bit of uh, ranting by me this week. Indeed, the bit of ranting <laughs> by me, uh, and uh, that was, do you know, I can't even remember what week that was. Um, that was last week, I think. Yes, uh, because I was in Scotland again um, on Monday, and I'm going again on Friday. It's. Uh, oh, I hope it doesn't snow. Anyway, so if you're in Scotland and it's snowing, uh, send me an email because <laughs> I'm going up on Friday. Um, but there you go. Not before. 
not before mind, my work's Christmas party on Thursday night, so I can't even get blathered. Otherwise I'll be over the limit the next morning. But, you know, yeah. things happen, don't they? Anyway, let's go over to Andy uh, and let him tell us about some rather yummy Jamaica ginger cake juice. Juicy, 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 juicy. Hello. Another juice review. Same as usual. 306. Got it right that time. If you're showing in order. In which case, if it isn't showing in order, you won't know what I just said. Which you will do next week. Or maybe the week after. Because, free. Never mind. Right. Got another juice. Rock Universal. That one. See. I shall have to wear my glasses on this one. This is... Jamaican ginger cake. Is anything like the mince pie? I'm expecting a ginger cake. Spicy. Well, let's have a look. Yeah. Two, three, and one extra. Four. There we go. Straight down the hole. It's always good. Always good. Wish me luck, people. I'm going in. Ooh. Now that, to me, is lush. Yes, it is a ginger. Very rich, and it does taste like a ginger cake. Slightly spicy. There'll probably be cinnamon in there, possibly. Mm. That is extremely nice. It's not something I'd use all day, perhaps as a a special one a week or something like that on there but uh, that's actually quite nice so hmm thumbs up rock universal about the three which was the apple and cinnamon got the apple not the cinnamon on that one if you've seen the other ones uh, the spice mince pie, which tastes like a mince pie. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> they 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 be sitting in the background there saying, No, it's unnatural. Send it away. And the spice jumin jum jumin jumin we have a little ginger cake. Ginger? It's the meds. Absolutely excellent. So there you go. Rock Universal, three new flavours from them. You get yourself over there and get them. Alright? But that's been me, Road Dog UK, from the Vapor Mist, giving you yet another juicy, 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 juicy. Hello. Um, from that little uh, trailer there, uh, you will have seen Todd, Romastino, Scott Bonner and Prof Beard. Well, next week, next week, my friends, I am going to bring you a interview that I did just this Saturday with Romastino. And it is the pre-Christmas show. So, as a special present, a special event, I'm going to bring you a one hour show. Yay! Uh, I'm going to bring you a one hour next week. Uh, we've got the interview with Romastino. We're going to have two juicy juices. Not two juicy. We're going to have two. <laughs> show is yours. 
Christmas show is yours. So we're doing two bottles next week uh, and they will be Christmas related. So get them in to me. Um, I have run over. 30 minutes has gone very, very quickly. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, don't forget to tune in to Dave Dawn on Wednesday and Thursday. Dave Kate on Sunday. Mark and Gary on Monday. And I'll see you a week today. I didn't say that little section, you know, see you. No, 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 no. I'll see you next week. Ta-ta.